on charity. During his stay in Madras, the Swami presided at the annual meeting of the Chennapuri Annadana Samajam, an institution of a charitable nature, and in the course of a brief address referred to a mark by a previous speaker deprecating special alms giving to the Brahmin over and above the other castes. Swamiji pointed out that this had its good as well as its bad side. All the culture, practically which the nation possessed, was among the Brahmins, and they also had been the thinkers of the nation. Take away the means of living which enabled them to be thinkers, and the nation as a whole would suffer. Speaking of the indiscriminate charity of India as compared with the legal charity of other nations, he said the outcome of their system of relief was that the vagabond of India was contented to receive readily what he was given readily and lived a peaceful and contented life, while the vagabond in the West, unwilling to go to the poor house, for man loves liberty more than food, turned a robber, the enemy of society, and necessitated the organization of a system of magistracy, police, jails, and other establishments. Poverty there must be, so long as the disease known as civilization existed, and hence the need for relief, so that they had to choose between the indiscriminate charity of India, which in the case of sannyasins at any rate, even if they were not sincere men, at least force them to learn some little of their scriptures before they were able to obtain food, and the discriminate charity of Western nations, which necessitated a costly system of poor law relief, and in the end succeeded only in changing mendicants into criminals.